We're going to show you how to set up your ArcScan 2054A Thermal Shipping Label Printer. Let's begin by loading our shipping label roll into the printer. First, position the printer so that the mouth is facing you. Open your label printer by taking both hands and positioning your fingers behind the green triangles. Pull the triangles towards you and then up. Remove the rod located in the middle of the printer like so. Remove one of the shields and place the rod through your shipping label roll. Put the shield back onto the rod so that your label roll is between them. Place it back into the shipping label printer like so. Be sure that the orientation of the roll is correct. You want the first sheet of the roll to be appearing from the top facing the mouth of the printer. Position the shipping label in the center of the rod. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can use the measurement markings on the rod for reference. Take the first sheet out of the roll and position it under and between the two green sliders. Bring the sliders closer to each other in a way in which it will secure the first sheet and the flow of the following sheets after that. You don't want to make this too tight though. Pull the first sheet from the roll until it's positioned like so. You can now close the printer and press down until it snaps into place. If you haven't done so yet, connect the power cable of your printer into an outlet. Once you have it plugged in, turn on your printer from the switch in the back. You should see a light coming out from the feed button. Press the feed button. If nothing happens, double check to make sure that your printer is properly closed. Press on the cover until you hear a click from the cover snapping into place. Press the button again and it should dispense a label from your printer. The blue light indicates that your printer is ready to dispense or print out labels from your printer. A red light usually indicates that something went wrong or your printer cover isn't properly closed. A unique feature about this printer is its label size auto detecting feature. Inside the printer is a sensor that allows it to automatically detect the size of your label. To do this, make sure your printer is turned off from the back switch. Hold the green button in the front while switching your printer on. Keep holding the green button until the light turns red. As soon as you see the light turn red, let go of the button. The printer will automatically detect the size of your label. It will use a page or two for measuring purposes. We're now ready to move on to the next step, downloading the drivers. Drivers enable your computer to communicate with the printer. Go to arcscan.com, products, then under the POS and Peripherals column, in the Shipping Label Printer category, you will find 2054A Thermal Shipping Label Printer. Alternatively, you can click on the link in the description that will lead you directly to the product page. Once you're here, go to the Downloads tab. Where you see Native Driver, click on the blue download icon to begin downloading the installer. Wait until the download finishes. Once it's done, execute the file. Accept the terms in the license agreement, and then press next. Here, you can select where you want the files to be downloaded. For now, I'm just going to go with the default download path and press next. Here, make sure run driver wizard after unpacking drivers is selected. The installation instructions are optional. You can take a look at it if you want. If you leave it checked, it's going to open a PDF document with further instructions but for now, I'll leave it unchecked. Press Finish. If a new prompt doesn't pop up automatically, it should be located on the bottom of your screen. It's just going to ask you if you want this application to make changes to your computer. Select Yes. Then select Install Printer Drivers. If you don't have the printer plugged into your computer yet via USB, you will see the following screen. You can plug in your printer now using USB. Once your computer detects a printer, this screen will appear. Press Next. This page suggests that you can change the name of the printer. I recommend not to do it here. We will change the name of the printer later on during the printer setup. For now, you can leave the name as it is. Also, it asks if you want to use a printer as a default printer. It's up to you if you want to tick that option. I'm going to leave it unticked. Here's the summary of the details. You can click finish. Now that you have the proper drivers installed, we're going to continue with the printer setup to ensure that your labels will print properly. 
you want to go to Printers and Scanners under System Settings. A way to easily do that is go to your Windows Start menu and type Printer. You can now select Printers and Scanners. Look for 4 barcode 4B2054A. Click on it, then press Manage. Go to Printer Properties. Head on over to the Ports tab. Now under the Printer column, you want to look for your Shipping Label Printer, which is this. Make sure that the row is ticked under the Port column. If it's not, your printer won't work. Press Apply. Since I already have the proper settings, my Apply button is grayed out. If yours is also grayed out, it means that it was already selected, so you don't have to press it anymore. We then jump into the General tab. Click on Preference. Under Page Setup, set it to the correct page settings. The standard size for shipping labels is usually 4 by 6 inches. That's also the size of my label paper, so I will select 4 by 6. Go to the Graphics tab and under Dithering, set that to None. Press Apply, then OK. Now, we're still on the General tab, we haven't left it yet. This is where you change the name of the printer. I would highly recommend this because the default name is too long, so you'd want to change it to something that's more simple. I'm going to change it to ArcScan 2054A, but you can change it to whatever name you want. Press OK. Close out of this menu, then open it up again, and you should see that the printer's name is changed to what I named it to earlier. If you don't see the changes, then the computer reboot may be necessary in some cases. Now, we are ready for testing. The first test is to make sure that you will be able to print. Click on the shipping label printer from this menu. Click on Manage, then click Print a Test Page. This should print out some system and printer information. The last test that we will do is printing out a sample shipping label. On the ArcScan website, in the 2054A product page, the same page where you downloaded the drivers from, go to Downloads, then scroll down to Sample Shipping Label. Click on the blue download icon, press the print icon, or alternatively, you can press Ctrl P on your keyboard which is the shortcut to print. Make sure that the destination is set to your shipping label printer and it displays the correct paper size. In most cases, the scale would be fit to page when you're printing out shipping labels. The sample label should come out of your printer, the same way any other shipping label would. If you need specific instructions on how to print out shipping labels via eBay, PayPal, Amazon, or Shopify using the 2054A, we have separate video guides for each platform. The links will be in the description below. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any other questions, you can comment below or send us an email. See you in the next video!